Right now we're at the Custom House Maritime Museum on Bank Street, just a few steps up from the waterfront. Let's go see what's inside. So Susan, tell us about the Custom House Museum. Well, the Custom House is the oldest continuously operating Custom House in the country. And what's the second one? <laughs> because you're from New Bedford. New Bedford. But it's the same design of the building, and, it, and they were built to be fireproof to store the records of the shipping trade. And at that period, when this opened, 1833, London was a very prosperous whaling city, mm -hmm. second, second only to... New Bedford? New Bedford. <laughs> <laughs> A plus. <laughs> Susan, this is the original foghorn? The original foghorn, yes. Really? <laughs> we got a Fresnel lens, it looks like there. This is the original Fresnel lens that was in the new London Ledge Light. And you've got ship models in here and great old paintings. We had exhibits about the New London waterfront. New London is, is located so that it's right on Long Island Sound, but there are many, many lighthouses just offshore. If you come to the Custom House, you can have a really good experience here with our exhibit on area lighthouses, and then you can actually go visit the real things. Mm -hmm. We're just happy to have people well, that's, that's come great. in and see the museum. Come down and see it for yourself on Bank Street, just a short distance from the waterfront. But don't go away, because coming up, we've got a trip to New London Ledge Light as well as a great dock and dine at Captain Scott's Lobster Dock. Oh, Captain Scott. Captain Scott <laughs> is, Cap is the one who built Race Rock and also the foundation of New London Ledge. Stay tuned.